This is a patient who comes in with abdominal pain, gets a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis with intravenous contrast. We can see here immediately as we scroll downwards, there's a very abnormal looking loop of bowel in the mid-abdomen, veering towards the left side of the abdomen. And it's not really the stomach. The stomach, you can see cephalate to that. But this loop is, uh, has a large air fluid level, quite distended. And surrounding it, there's a lot of fat strandings, a lot of inflammatory change. So what loop does this represent? Well, let's go downwards. We can see that it's not the sigmoid colon. The sigmoid colon looks collapsed and looks like it's separate from this. It's not the descending colon, it's not the transverse colon that's sort of anterior to this loop. As we go downwards, we can start to appreciate that this probably represents the ascending colon, the cecum. We can actually then start to appreciate this loop of bowel going into it. It's probably going to be the terminal ilium. And so this is a large loop of cecum that's quite distended, has a serif fluid level, and has a lot of inflammatory change surrounding it. If we look at it on the coronals, we can see that it has this sort of reverse C shape to it. And right at the area of uh, twisting, you can see his bird's beak appearance. That's where the cecum is sort of twisted upon itself, and upstream from that is quite distended. And so this is a great look for cecal volvulus. Typically happens in uh, relatively younger patients with a longer mesentery. The cecum can sort of twist upon this, and it's a type of bowel obstruction essentially involved in the cecum. Uh, can become ischemic, as in this case, and uh, this went to the operating room, and the patient needed to have this resected.